Hello, I'm Vicki LaRoe. Thank you for selecting this video. This week's video is going to be a little different than our normally weekly videos where we talk about jewelry making old products and techniques and new designs. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the business of jewelry for those that are selling their jewelry. And I may sprinkle these in on the channel kind of here or there, but I've spent a good portion of this year, 2020, really working on uh, building my business 100% online. I've been transitioning my business from a brick and mortar retail store I had for over 25 years and now doing my business a really similar uh, business model but 100% online now. I've also been helping um, a few of my clients and customers who want to sell their jewelry. Uh, I've been building websites for them and doing their pictures uh, for them to be able to sell online as well. And part of that process was uh, then after I made their website and took their pictures, then showing them how to do it for themselves because I do believe anyone can learn how to do this um, as long as you know someone shows you how to do it. And so through uh, the process of when I had my brick and mortar store, I would set up all the beautiful pictures of the jewelry collections and um, for the photos, but someone else always actually took the photos and did all the tech and all that kind of thing. But when I decided to relaunch the business online, I decided to do it all myself and just with my smartphone. And so I've really learned over the years, uh, the last few years, how to get, I think, great pictures um, using just, uh, just my smartphone. In the process though, of when I've been helping these clients and, and kind of showing them how to take great pictures, for their jewelry collections. I uh, spent some time online like trying to look at other uh, jewelry photo tutorials uh, just because I'm not professionally taught, I'm all self-taught. So, you know, what don't I know? And the only like tutorials I could find were how to take photos of like very fine jewelry, like gemstone rings, right? And they would set them up in the little box maybe and then, um, take the phone and kind of zoom in to get that close up uh, which is a plain white background and get that shot and that's an important shot but um, it doesn't really speak to what fashion jewelry needs and fashion jewelry is always what I focused on so you know longer necklaces or bigger statement pieces or fun bracelets and big earrings you know popular kind of fashion type jewelry that that's different that's basically the fashion business it needs to send a message and build um, a brand message behind it and so I started looking at like product photo tutorials that would have uh, candles or soap or something but I still couldn't really find what I'm trying to uh, teach or, or the message I'm trying to send to jewelry designers what fashion designers have always known which is the best way to uh, catch a customer's eye or to create impact is to start by creating a collection, a purposeful, small collection of pieces that are intentionally made to go together. Think about a fashion designer that has a new, uh, a new collection every uh, season, every spring or fall or what have you, right? So that entire collection, when you look at it, uses all uh, similar colors, there's a color story, uses all similar materials or fabrics, um, right? So it creates all the very same vibe or the same mood when you look at it. That was all really purposeful. And the reason is because together it creates a wow and impact, right? That creates uh, that excitement and desire. When you take all those pieces and you create a photo, you put them all together as a collection photo, then each individual piece complements the other and in doing so elevates the entire collection. Right? There's been studies done that people look more attractive in groups for the same reason. Right? So when you want to get the customer's attention, you do so by making an impact and the best way to do that is creating um, a, a collection that then sends a brand message through color or, or impact or what have you. And jewelry is already so small that it really does need that. And so for a designer, you could do this every season or every other month, it doesn't matter. But 
try to create a small collection, six, 12 pieces, it doesn't have to be a lot, but pieces that are using similar colors, maybe similar materials, um, they can all different, of course, but that all go together. And so even the pieces I have maybe behind me, they're all different, right? But they're all, they all use kind of, um, oh, a variation of champagne and kind of ivory champagne colored crystals and gold chain and blacks and things. And so that's the color story. They all, they're all different, but they all have the same feeling about them, the same mood, the same customer would love them all, right? So if I'm gonna do a photograph with them, that's the photograph a brand needs to create that impact, to catch that attention. Then you can do individual photos of the individual pieces uh, to sell them. But what we want to create first is that great collection photo. And um, one thing is we don't ever do them on the stands, right? Nothing looks more amateur than keeping the jewelry on the stands. You do what's called a flat lay. Um, you can look at tons of other companies that do this. Um, Sundance, Sundance.com, right? They do a lot of fabulous jewelry. And I think their last campaign in the summer had um, like muted pastels and then kind of paper flowers as props. It was really beautiful. So you want to look at what your brand is, uh, what the feel of your jewelry is, and then find proper backgrounds and proper small props that may enhance your jewelry or speak more to that brand image. So for example, if, um, if your jewelry is very feminine, very dainty, very romantic, um, then you may end up using uh, kind of lacy backgrounds or rose petals as small props. If your jewelry is kind of boho um, and organic and kind of laid back, you may use sand or pebbles. If it's very modern, you may use plexiglass and stainless steel and something. So you use very purposeful props that are only there to enhance the message, not to distract from the jewelry at all, but just to enhance. And that, again, helps your jewelry even have things kind of to lay on, um, which helps the, the composition of the, the photo itself. So from that composition, um, from that collection shot or brand shot, group shot, however you want to think of it, then you can do individual, what I call editorial shots of the individual piece, maybe still on that background, but on its own. And then you could do a product piece, a product shot of just that individual piece on the white background that you need for search for Google's algorithm. But beyond that, you need to catch a customer's attention. And there's so much jewelry out there. The best way to do that is with impact, and especially through social media. So these collection photos is what's gonna do it. They're gonna create impact and uh, create someone's, uh, get someone's attention like when they're scrolling through their feed or whatever, much more than just one individual piece of jewelry. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit. It's so important. I have actually just, um, if you want more help with photos or more information about how to take great jewelry photos using just your smartphone, I actually just launched a course. Um, it was part of another course that I launched that I decided to make, um, the photo part is a, an entirely separate course. So it's called Smart Jewelry Photography, and it's giving professional jewelry photos just with your smartphone. And it's $49, so fairly inexpensive. There's eight videos and digital downloads that I walk you through all the lighting uh, that I use. My whole lighting setup is less than $5 that I use every day to get great shots. Um, we build composition or collection shots in real time uh, around several different brands, showing you how to use the backgrounds. I do a little color color theory, showing you how to match the perfect backgrounds to, the, to your piece of jewelry, um, all the way through editing. We do editing in real time on the, on the screen. I do it all with just my smartphone, no special apps, no special um, software, tech, nothing else to purchase or, or buy. Um, and oh, and it includes, I made a gallery, I printed it out, but you would have it digitally, of a hundred different photos that I've taken uh, of different setups and compositions that you can just duplicate, right? There's a whole section of short necklaces, long necklaces, statement bracelets, statement earrings, uh, group shots, set shots. And so I just made individual uh, groupings of all these types of jewelry and then did 
um, put them all together in a gallery for you. And like I said, you can just duplicate that setup. If, if you have a similar necklace or bracelet, I'm showing you the best way to lay that out to fill the shot, to get a great shot with it. And so that is included in uh, the course. So I'll leave a link in the description below along with um, a discount code uh, if there's one available for the course. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you enjoy content like this and more um, learning about uh, modern jewelry making and new products, I hope that you'll subscribe, like the video if you like it, um, and I hope to see you back here again. Until then, go out there and sparkle brightly like the star that you are. Mwah. Peace.